Hi everyone, it's Linda. I wanted to share with you a couple of um, Troll Beads orders that I have made uh, the past week or so. Um, this one over here is made with Troll Beads South Hills Village. And then my most recent one here was made with Troll Beads Partridge Creek. Um, the order with Troll Beads uh, South Hill Village, they did include a nice little handwritten note. Uh, they did include like a little fun size Kit Kat bar, which I have already eaten. <laughs> but let me um, share at least what is in this package here. And as always, I love it when we have pretty things to unwrap. So let me show you what is in here. And the main reason for reaching out was that beautiful, unique that you see right there on the right. Um, and then of course, you know, just had to bump my order up so it was a, above 100, right? So I can get the free shipping. I know you all understand. So I did get a second green onyx. So let me get everything off the ribbon um, and show you these a little bit more in detail. All right, so here is that beautiful, unique. Um, my friend, Tani, um, she had actually purchased uh, the same unique or a similar one from Troll Beats Partridge Creek. And when I expressed to her, you know, oh my gosh, I wish I would have seen that one first. Um, she was sweet enough. She actually found um, a very similar, unique, maybe even the same one. I'd, I'd have to go back and look at her, her post. But um, she pointed me uh, to Troll Beats um, South Park uh, or South Hills Village to, um, you know, ask if they still had this one. And it has this gorgeous green base and it has those little three petal pink flowers with the yellow centers and um, I think it looks very very nice with the green onyx um, that I purchased. Uh, this is my second green onyx from the canvas drop and um, real quickly let me just share like I love that it, uh, while it's not a perfect match to this one bead here from the spring collection, um, I still think it'll look nice on a bracelet. And look at how um, my green onyx, like I think I got a slightly darker one um, from the uh, Troll Beat South Hills Village but um, it's still a very nice match to the one that I had um, purchased with Anna at Troll Beats Texas when they were still open. So yeah, really thrilled with this particular unique. It is very, very pretty, very appropriate for both spring and summer. So um, that is that order. And real quickly, I'll just show you um, this bracelet. Uh, this is that butterfly spacer from last spring's collection. And then let me see if I can get all the names right. This one is Trinity of the Heart. This has strawberry quartz, feldspar moonstone, and um, rose quartz. This one is the Love and Care, which was the Valentine's bead from this year. And then we have this one. And what is this one called? Um, I am blanking on this one's name. So I'll, um, I'll put it down here if I remember. Um, and then we have, I want to say Joyful Flower, Raspberry Bush. This was a Troll Beads Day bead from a few years back. Um, and then we have the Green Onyx. And then the Jester's Hat from the Canvas Collection. And then we've got the Lock from this year's Canvas Collection that's got the Strawberry Quartz, 
and rose quartz kind of went I don't know spring always gets me so that's a bracelet design that I recently put together now let me share you share with you what is in this package here and I love it like you can see there is a card um, they actually wrapped the box in uh, like white paper and tied it with a bow and Look at that, guys. They actually gave me um, a key ring. Uh, so let me get everything out of the cellophane packaging. So I got everything out of the packaging um, from Troll Beads Partridge Creek. And I just love this. Um, it's wrapped in uh, tissue paper and ribbon. And I did get a really sweet note from uh, Troll Beads Partridge Creek. I actually worked with um, Terry this time around. And it was so funny because when she was helping me, uh, she had mentioned that, you know, she could do this all day long, you know, because she was just showing me bead after bead after bead after bead. And I just think uh, it's so reminiscent of one of my um, favorite movies and quotes uh, from the Avengers with Captain Steve Rogers, you know, where he's like, I could do this all day. Um yeah, and you know, I think the same can be said for many of us with our troll beads um, addictions um, and shopping. But uh, she was so sweet. She included um, one of the troll beads key rings, and I have never used one of these before, so I'm not quite sure um, how this works. I imagine that this slides up somehow, but. Uh, at least here on film, it is not cooperating with me right now. So I'm not going to um, try because that'll just be um, a lot of wasted time on the video. But uh, it includes like this really pretty blue unique. So there is that. And yeah, I've never had a Troll Beads uh, key ring before. So this will be fun to kind of figure out and discover how to use. So let me just kind of set this aside here. All right, so what is in this beautiful package? It's almost too pretty to um, open. Forgive my nose, guys. I have not had a chance to really do much of anything. I've been doing a lot of overtime and got other things going on in my life. So, let's get to the box. So, here we have my order. And as you can see, I did treat myself um, to some of the new Mother's Day goodies um, and then some. So let me get everything off the ribbon here for you so you can see it in closer detail. Okay, so I did treat myself to um, the Mother's Day collection and I purchased a pair of the Leopard Spots bead. I went for um, the Leopard Spots that have that um, blush coloration to them. And um, it was really a lot of fun working with Terry um, looking at these beads. Like I immediately went for the blush color and I believe I chose this one first. And of course, you know, she's like, well, you know, do you want a second one? Because most likely all the beads like kind of with this blush coloration are gonna, you know, go quickly. So now would be the time to choose. And, you know, those are probably very wise words. So I did get a second one. And while the blush color um, is a little darker on this one. Um, it's not like too drastically different um, and I think these are a very nice pair together and um, while she was showing these to me like I asked her you know can I see these with strawberry quartz? Um, can I see these with 
sunstone and um, the feldspar moonstone. So let me grab those um, from my own collection so I can show you. All right, so here is the leopard spots next to strawberry quartz. In fact, here, let's do this. Let's do it so you can see them both. Side by side. So that is uh, leopard spots with strawberry quartz. Here is leopard spots with the feldspar moonstone. So as you can see, um, it is a beautiful match to the feldspar moonstone. And then here is the leopard spots with the uh, little sunstone go-rounds. And it actually um, is a nice match to those as well. Now keep in mind, I did get the leopard spots that had more of the blush base. I know that they indicated that they had some that had like an orange base and some that had more of an ivory or white. Um, I almost wonder if like mine are considered more of an orange base, but to me it is more blush, just my own personal opinion. But um, that is uh, leopard spots with a couple beads that I thought would pair nicely with it. The silver bead, and I'm just going to show the silver bead this way, um, is called to be a mother. And um, I feel you can see the bead a little bit better from the sideways profile. You have uh, the mother leopard uh, kind of nose to nose with her little um, leopard cub. And you do see um, a little bit of the leopard spot detailing um, on the silver, um, you know, for their fur. And like here is the one side. You can see the little tail um, for the cub. And then as I turn it this way, you can see mama's tail. So they're kind of um, embracing uh, with the, the tail. And then here is the um, other side depicted. So it's a very sweet bead. And with me being um, a cat lover, this one was kind of a must have for me. And this is of course how it's going to be on a bracelet, um, just like this. So that is um, to be a mother. And then I did get a couple beads to pair with it. Um, this one here is an older retired bead called Love and Laughter. Um, and this is where, you know, Terry was really having a lot of fun um, pairing different beads that she felt would go well with the leopard spots. So, love and laughter. And this is one of those beads um, that had never previously been on my radar. Like this coloration in a bead is not one that I typically gravitate towards, but um, you know, I had to agree this uh, looks really well together and I got a really pretty um, shimmery one. And then another bead that she showed paired with it was um, the old retired pink prism bead. And the prism beads are like long retired I only have a pair of the lavender prisms, but look how beautifully um, the pink prism coordinates with the leopard spots. 
and then she kind of threw in um, this particular prism and I'm not sure if this is the gray prism or um, like a taupe prism like I'll have to look it up and post it down here but it kind of to me is reminiscent of smoky quartz and these prism beads they're only like $28 so they're a really good um, price for you know a nice little added touch of sparkle on your bracelet so um, this right here let's see do I have room for mama um, this is my uh, entire order and let me put them together on a copper bangle because these just look stunning with copper. So let me throw everything together on a copper bangle real quick so you can see. All right, so here is a little design uh, that I just threw together. Um, so here we have the love and happiness and then the leopard spots, the pink prism. Here is... Um, a mother's love leopard spots and then this one is um, blossom shade I believe that's the name like this is an older retired bead as well but um, there you have it and I do have it on a copper bangle that uh, I am needing from the looks of it to polish up my stoppers and uh, the bracelet a little bit better. But you can see how beautifully this looks um, on the copper. So uh, that is it guys. Uh, let me know what you think of everything. And uh, hopefully this video is finding you all doing well and uh, taking care of yourselves. Um, I will catch you in the next one and uh, Talk to you later. Bye.